Hoi, 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 gelatin! Um, weird way of saying hi, but, uh, hey, Bubble. Would you like to eat this new dessert I cooked? Sure, what is it? Jello! Looks delicious! <laughs> Wait, oh my dear collagen! Blech. I taste something fishy. I knew it! Is it the cannibalism? Ulterior motives. Why? Admit it, Bubble. You came here with that jello because you wanted something else from me. It's time for you to spill the truth. Oh, oh, Roy! You're correct! See, after Ruby was eliminated last episode, I felt pretty alone on this team. I just want some new friends! Aw, Bubble, you don't have to worry. As long as you're on this team, you'll never be alone. Because you got Teardrop, she still doesn't talk. Gelatin! Oh, he was talking about you! Oh, so you think Teardrop is less worth your friendship then? TV, give her a dose of what you think about that. No, 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 You stop dancing like that. Don't worry, Four. Fiery only meant it sarcastically. Right, Fiery? Right, Fiery? Yes, that's exactly right. Awesome! Thou have not! The six of you lost the last challenge. Whoever of you got the fewest votes will leave the show. Oh, my gardener! Ruby, who said I was beautiful and once sang me a really weird song, got eliminated last time despite getting more votes in one episode than the entire first season of BFDI! What's your point, Flower? Well, if you or I want to survive this elimination, we need more votes than the entire first season! And I, I just don't think I can muster that! Well, I know I can. I got my supporters. Loser, I'm your biggest fan. Please accept my fan mail. <laughs> See? Okay, that is pretty impressive. I told you it was true. Loser. Huh? No, I have a message to tell you. What is it? Is my your popularity? Oh my Gordita! I'm gonna take this back. Yeah, Axe! Stuff your fingers quick! Alright! Bye, loser! Promote my fashion line from the BRB, please! What a bozo box! I'm glad I'm the only cube left now! Blocky! With loser gum! We have BFB's final ten! I only count nine of us here. Alright, sorry. The 21st challenge is... Eat a can of beans because... Um, you like beans? Then buy our can of beans 25 for... Oh, no, 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 no. Now is not the time to show us an ad. But don't you understand? That is the 21st contest. <gasps> Yellow Face Incorporated has barraged you with ads for their products over the years. With some not-so-legal snooping, I have discovered the location of Yellow Face's warehouse, which has over a million products. In this contest, three people from each team, the shoppers, will go to the warehouse and buy gifts for the other two, the receivers. X will measure how satisfied the receivers are with their gifts. And whichever team achieves highest satisfaction wins. So first, decide who's going to shop for gifts and who's going to receive gifts. All right, have-notters, who wants to be a gift receiver? Raise your hand high. Mm -hmm. Ow, 
I love consuming products! Pick me! Pick me! Okay, we got flour and really nobody else. Plucky, Woody's been raising his hand the whole time! No, he's been doing this wimpy... Eh, stick, which is way more wimpy. Plucky, now you're just being a jerk. It's okay, Woody. You can be a gift receiver. Wah! Dear Joy, I know you literally assassinated me a few minutes ago, but do you want to be shoppers together? Yoyo cake! Bonding time with another water-based specimen! Yeesh, now that's a weird way to say it. We need one more shoiper, though. Hmm, Leafy and Lolly both act really weird around me, so gelatin, you should shop with us. Aw, I wanted to be a gift receiver. My gift haul for my last birthday, June 29th, is already getting boring. I need some new gizmos. New gizmos, you say? Why not try out my patented fork repellent? Oh yeah? You and Yellowface are selling competing products now? I suppose. This might get interesting. No more talking. Here's how it's gonna work. Yellowface's warehouse is 2,763 miles away. So to get there, the shoppers must ride in this high-speed express train. Get in. Looks like we get to go on an adventure, Taco! Yeah, I guess this could be pretty exciting. Whatever. As for you gift receivers, you can just sit on this bench and wait. Um, no thanks! Blocky, I heard you call Woody wimpy earlier. That's not okay. But it was true, and only wimps support other wimps. Why have you been so standoffish lately? Have not. Hmm, it's because Woody got his way, huh? What do you mean? You don't like that. You gotta stop defining your successes on how much others fail. Dude, stop. That may have worked in the past, but it won't work in a team setting like ours. Yo, stop trying to psychoanalyze my mind. It's creepy. Now we're climbing a mountain. And now we're here. Hop out, everyone. Whoa, this place is big. Like, big, big. I wonder if Yellowface is here to give us a tour of the place. No, Fiery. Yellowface is busy competing for Teapot. Hmm, I guess we're free to go in alone then. Whoa, there's so many products in here. Four wasn't lying when he said millions. Whoa, so this is where my sleep paralysis demon takes me in my dreams. What? So when I ordered a Boyable Transformer from Yellowface all those years ago, this must have been where it came from. All right, Bubble and friends. It was a blast riding that express train with you three, but we're on different teams. So we must depart now. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys are a little weird, but, uh, goodbye. Shirley, that's not noise. So we need gift for Woody and Flower. What do you guys think Woody would like? Definitely the super spiky glove to the face. <laughs> Locky, that's an awful idea. Only sadists and meat tenderizer enthusiasts would buy that. <laughs> Remember, Blocky, we're a team, so try to pick what's in Woody's best interests, because that's also what's in your best interests. Fine. <gasps> oh, hey! Forks! <laughs> no way, gelatin! Don't go! Tossing those forks. <sighs> Sorry, I just couldn't resist. Uh, do you think Lolly would like these? Well, she did start that company that sells fork repellent. And? Now I see her spray that stuff on herself. And? Every day. Oh, so... Yeah, I don't think she likes those things very much. Let's get her a bunch of spoons! So smart! <laughs> so, uh, guys, how's your day been? Who's excited to receive their presents? Yeah, it's going all right. But I'm not a fan of how cramped this pot feels. Oh, perfect timing to test out my satisfaction detector. Two out of ten. It works! 
What about Flower, you guys? What's she into? Hmm. She's extremely receptive to bugs. So maybe we could get her this package of 10 million bug larva? What? No! She has an extremely bad reception of bugs, not a good one! Well, I remember Flower said she was trying to promote her fashion line. So how about this bag of glitter she could use to spice up her clothes even more? Wow, that was actually a good idea. I'm proud of you, Blocky. Do you think this is enough for Lollipop? Uh, almost! Wait, where'd Teardrop go? There! What you got there, Teardrop? Niceness level detector. Oh, a gift for Leafy. Perfect. Our work here is done. But that's just a random number generator. Ah, whatever. I think we can head back to four with our gifts. Fine. Oh, Woody? Ah, remember the time I told you there's a life out there to enjoy, so enjoy it. Ah. Well, since then, I've learned that sometimes you're just not in the right mind state to enjoy the things you used to enjoy. But that's natural and okay. Things will get better eventually, even if they're not perfect right now. Oh, Pollies. That's so cheesy I would laugh. But I suppose I should be nicer to my fellow BFB mates. So, I'll respect it. Want some fork repellent? Oh my gardener! Is that the fork repellent from the Yellowface brand? That's my favorite! Ugh, no. This comes from the far superior Lollipop brand, which many studies have shown is much good -er. Do you think Woody would like this bucket? I like bucket. No, that won't work. Woody's deathly afraid of the color gray. Wait, really? Yeah, we discovered that before you joined the show. It was a tumultuous time. Hmm, all right. What about this bubble blowing starter kit? Uh, definitely not. Woody is petrified of bubbles too. Wow, you guys know a lot more about Woody's history than me, it seems. Oh, how about this cardboard box? That's perfect! Woody gets scared by lots of things, so if he ever feels that way, he can just hide inside this thing, and it should calm his nerves. Hey, that's pretty thoughtful of you guys. This could really help Woody overcome his fears, huh? Yeah! I'm proud of you guys for putting yourself in Woody's shoes. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just get back home. Why does this say, don't purple open inside? Whoa, what is that thing? I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe if we can find a latch to open? Whoa, gelatin, that could be dangerous. Watch out. Don't worry, I'm being careful. Ah! Okay, let's get out of here. Welcome back. Teams, give your gifts to their recipients. And I'll measure how much they like their gifts with my handy dandy satisfaction detector. Boom, non show off. Aw, okay. Hey, Leafster, accept this gift. A bowling ball? I mean, it's a cool sport and all, but I've had mixed experiences with the game. No, Leafy, it's a noiseness detector. Shake it. Oh, I see. Hooray, it says I'm nice. I'm evil, girl. Hooray, how kind. Yay, I'm so mad. Wow, cool. That is so wrong. Yay, no, yay, no, yay, no. Yes, this is what I like to see. Eight out of ten. <gasps> Flower, allow us to present our offering to the Floral Queen. This Floral Queen expects only the highest standards of quality. Oh my dirt glitter! I can add decorations to all my fashiony things! Great gift choice. 10 out of 10. Here. A gift for me? How generous. If it were not for the fact that you were obligated to do this to further your own self-interest in the game. Just open it. All right. Oh, wow. Spoon. I love spoon. Spoon good. Spoon shiny. Very shiny and sparkly and useful. Hold on. Does this spoon say made in Yellowface's warehouse? Ugh. 
That company makes horrendous products. Do you hear that, potential customer base? Lollipop Incorporated's products are far more valuable in comparison. Three out of ten. Darn it! I knew that would be a problem. So the have caught satisfaction ratings add up to 11 points. The have-nots have already secured 10 points, but they're waiting on their final gift for Woody. We got this in the bag. Glocky, you chose the gift, so you get to deliver it. All right. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, he oh, likes yeah, that. Yeah, oh, He's yeah, a Oh, ah. Woody, it's a cardboard shelter. If you ever see something you're scared of, you could use it to, um, uh, you could burrow inside of it to hide and, uh, calm yourself so you're, uh, less scared of whatever you were scared of. Zero out of ten. What in the actual flip? Woody, this is supposed to be the perfect gift for you! <laughs> oh my god, you cry, baby! You just made us lose the challenge! Ah! Lucky! Woody's not a baby! You shouldn't have treated him like one! Woody, don't worry, I understand the struggle you're going through! Bubble, this discussion doesn't involve you! I'm so confused, though. I thought that gift could help him. <laughs> All right, sure, whatever. But Woody, I was just trying to help you out. Couldn't you at least appreciate that? Maybe you guys need to reassess what value you think Woody contributes to your team. He's not just a dead weight, you know. Yeah, I agree with Lollipop here. Even if she has corporate interests that may cloud her judgment. Yo, customer base, don't listen to the gelatin. The candy ball might have a point. What do you mean? I don't think so. If anything, I think you were too nice on Woody. That's the problem. No, it's not. Meanness is the key to defeating your enemies. No, Flower. Taco and I tried super hard to find the perfect gift for the Woody in our heads. But the Woody in our heads was kind of insulting to the Woody in reality. Are you saying there's a little Woody living in my head right now? How you doing, little buddy? <sighs> Blocky's right. You just gotta try harder next time. So that wraps things up. The have-nots end up with a total 10 satisfaction points, placing them one point behind the have nots 11 points. So they are up for elimination for the second time in a row. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. It featured a little bit of gift giving, even though Christmas is still pretty far away. But anyway, the have-nots lost, which means whichever member gets the fewest votes from you viewers is going to be eliminated. So you viewer, pick who you want to save the most, and then type their letter in square brackets and post it on a comment on this video. There's only five of them left now, so after next episode there will only be four. Anyway, please subscribe to Jack and Jellyfee because then you'll be notified when the next episode comes out and you can find out whether your vote made a difference. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later! Hey, Fiery! Wanna try my new glitter-infused fashion line? Alright! Wow! You look so radiant!